Alright my fighters, so as you can see we have finally a new legends management team newsletter and we are going to go through it and we will see what they are saying in it. However, before we start, I just wanted to let you know that our goal is to hit 6,000 subscribers before the end of October 2021. So if you are new here and you want to help us to hit our goal in time, please do so by subscribing my channel and share the video with your friends. Anyways, without any further ado, let's just get started and see what they have for us here. So first of all, we have the year-end huge update. So everything that they say here is most likely going to come at the end of the year, not now. So we will see what they are going to do. They have three main goals, as they are saying, and uh, the first one is create a game environment with a wide variety of vi viable uh, play styles where players feel free to experiment with character combinations. A very big lie. <laughs> Let's be straightforward. It's a very big lie. They don't intend to make any good environment in the game. All they care about is actually making Gohans in the game. That's everything they care about. And they made it very clear since the third anniversary that all they intend to do f forward is actually creating more Gohans that can dominate PvP. So yeah, <laughs> let's just be honest about it, okay? Let's just be honest about it. Anyways, the second one is improve how ratings function in PvP. And I believe that by ratings they, may, they mean rating matches. Uh, and it would be really nice to see that, but they have been doing that since the, the beginning of the game. If you are old enough player, you will know how many times they said, we are working on improving PvP, we are working on improving matchmaking, and they just never do anything. They never do anything. <laughs> and even if they do something, it has bare minimum effect at any of the big problems that we have in the game. So yeah, I really hope that this time they are going to do something, but uh, I will keep my hopes down because that's how they taught me to do. Anyways, the third one, implement small quality of life changes that contribute to fun, stress-free Dragon Ball Legends experience. Well, when it comes to uh, quality of life changes, they did some really amazing changes, to be honest. Uh, especially when it comes to the energy tank, to the um, to the new faster, I would say, skip uh, system. I think that they made it actually faster without even telling us about it, which makes which puts uh, the legends pass in actually question mark because of the fact that they say that it is going to be one of the things that the legends pass is going to have as a special uh, gift for those who actually buy it. But since, in my opinion, they made it a little bit faster, I don't know if they are actually going to ever release that Legends Pass or not. And don't misunderstand me, I am very happy that they didn't actually release it. I don't want anything like, uh, as useless as that Legends Pass to be actually in the game, because it's just completely worthless and it is going to be just a waste of resources. I would prefer them to use their resources on something that is going actually to make the game better, that is going to be 10 times better. However, this third point, I actually can agree for uh, for the biggest part of it. <laughs> because they don't actually create a stress-free Dragon Ball Legends, but they are making the game better and easier actually to clear when it comes to at least PvE. Anyways, faster startup times. We will implement the optimization to reduce the amount of time it takes to start up the app. Well, this is the third time they do that. If, if you are actually an old enough player, you will know that this is the third time they optimize the startup of the app. Every time they make it fast, so fast actually, and then after two updates it returns to how slow it was. And they did this three times. <laughs> So it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Anyways, leader slot and boost characters. Even though it, it's been over three years since Dragon Ball Legends has been released, we are always working to create an environment where all characters, all characters can be used to their full potenti potential. I believe that the writer made a mistake there. They didn't mean all characters. They meant all Gohans. 
uh, can be used to their full potential, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, we are developing new features to give you more opportunities to use your favorite characters, which are obviously Gohans, by making them fit into a wider range of parties. Now you can actually use Gohans on uh, Lineage of Evil, you can use Gohans on a Future, you can use Gohans on everything you want actually because of the leader slot. So. Uh, this is actually what they already talked about, and I believe that it is still the same, maybe? Maybe they made some changes to it. Let us actually read a little bit of it. This is the leader slot, is a feature that allows you to set one character from your party of six as the leader. The aim of this new feature is to be bro broaden the choices available uh, for parties that were limited by the need to add to adhere uh, to specific tags. So basically what they want with this feature, if you didn't read it uh, the, the last time, is that they want you to be able to use one character on whichever team you want. And the whole team is going to benefit from that one character's uh, Z ability, not the Zinkai ability. The Zinkai ability isn't going actually to work there. Uh, the Z ability is going to work and that character is going to benefit from all of the other characters Z ability. And this is pretty nice change, however it is going to allow you to use Gohan on every single team that you can actually think of. So <laughs> I don't know if this is going, going to work very well, but we will see actually, we will see. The second one is boost characters. And uh, this feature is mostly unchanged from what we introduced. Did they actually change this one? Wait a second. The following has been changed, okay, from the previ previously given information regarding le leader slots. The leader bo bonus applies to Z abilities even if they specif specify a target, tag, episode, element, character, rarity, etc. Well, that is pretty nice actually. Uh, they didn't uh, allow the, the ability to to buff the character the other characters if they specify a specific episode or element or character or rarity but now you can actually get it even if it is like that that is nice zinkai awakened characters can be selected as the leader yeah that before they didn't allow us actually to do that in state or they say that they aren't going to allow us because they didn't add the feature uh, until now but uh, uh, instead they say that they will allow us to actually remove the zinkai awakening from the character uh, they will give us a feature that removes the Zinkai Awakening and by that we will be able to use that character. But what is the point? If that character isn't going to be useful, why would I use it actually on any other team? Like seriously, this is just crazy. So it's nice to see that they changed that and they are going to allow us to use the Zinkai Awakened characters as leaders. However, the leader bonus will only be applied if the leader is a battle member and uh, basically I believe the Zinkai abilities will not be included in the bonus. Yes, as you can see, the Zinkai uh, abilities will not be included. So you are going to buff the team with your Z ability, but not with the Zinkai ability. Boost characters are actually just like how the Tournament of Power works. They are going to buff some specific characters. Uh, uh, during every season, and that is going actually to uh, according to them, uh, actually provide to a wider variety of characters used in uh, PvP. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the case or not, because if you actually don't nerf some specific characters, boosting other characters isn't going to give as good result actually as it would be if you nerf the other characters. Because if, if I actually buff uh, Super Saiyan God Goku 100% uh, extra damage, it isn't going to give us anything better than what Gohan can do, the, the Zinkai Awakened Legendary Finish Gohan. Like seriously, I will still use the Legendary Finish Super Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. However, if I buff maybe someone like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, 
or maybe someone like um, who else well super saiyan blue evolution vegeta for example if we actually buff one of these characters they might they might reach if they get a pretty well actually buff they might reach somewhere where they become as useful as the legendary finish gohan the zinkai awakened one and by that we might be able to actually use these characters much more freely and they would be actually as good as the gohan so we will see actually how this is going to work I have some hopes for it but not big hopes because as I said before if they aren't going to nerf the Gohans it's going to be actually nearly the exact same because the Gohans are still are going to still be as good as they are actually so what is the point of buffing other characters if these are going to stay as good as they are anyways rating matches uh, they they have answered actually some questions but i am not going to go through them you can go through them if you want later because i don't want this video to become 30 minutes it is already long enough actually uh, so rating matches at present many people are playing dragon ball legends but prizes in pvp are limited to only a small handful of players at the top it's good that they understand that. In order for all players to enjoy PvP, including those who only play casually, and to promote better matchmaking, we have made the following improvement to, to rating matches. Max battle rank BR increase. Oh wow. Awesome. <laughs> okay, the max BR will be raised from 50 to 70. Currently, once you reach battle rank 50, it is possible to be matched with players with far greater skill than your own. Raising the max BR will allow for, for more precise matchmaking. Well, I am not sure about that, because if we actually going to be able to reach as easily as we reach to 50 uh, to 70 as well uh, that is going to actually lead to the same exact uh, problem but with a little bit more grinding <laughs> so yeah basically it is the exact same problem again that is going to happen but at bottle rank 70 instead of 50. introduction of leagues uh, players will be assigned to a league according to their br uh, you may be matched with players in a different league depending on connection quality, rating point difference, win streak, etc. So it is the same exact problem, but this time you are going to have some leaks introduced in the game. And as you can see, the, these are the leaks. We aren't going to talk about them because they are so clear as glass. <laughs> Top reward improvements. Following the max BR increase, uh, top ranking players can expect to earn special titles and more who cares about titles they don't even have any special effects who cares about titles like seriously man. give us chrono crystals that's what we care about chrono crystals that's what we need in the game so if you are going to just give us special titles, please remove this uh, improvement because you are just going to say that you improved the rewards while you didn't. I really hope that you aren't going to do that. Anyways, adjustments to starting BR for new seasons. At present, all players higher than 35 are returned to 35 at the beginning of any uh, of a new season it's really funny that they don't understand how their own functions uh, work actually because it's not higher than 35 higher than 40 you return to 35 if you are only higher than 35 but lower than 40 you return to 30 mr P mr president <laughs> You return to 30, not to 35. Okay, it's really funny that they don't understand how their own functions work. That's just insane. It's just insane. This causes matchmaking at the beginning of each season to not reflect actual player skill. To correct this, we have raised the max BR and will be adjusting starting BR at the beginning of each season to promote better matchmaking. Well, imagine. Imagine if they are going to make you actually grind up to 70 and then return you to 35. <laughs> it's, a just, it's a just absolute craziness. Anyways, 
Introduction of percentage-based ranking rewards. Many players who participate who participate in rating matches each season uh, don't currently receive rewards other than those from missions. Okay. <laughs> we are adding percentage-based ranking rewards that will take into account the ranking of all players who participated in rating matches it took us only three years to understand that three years and a half actually because they are going to implement this at the end of the year and that is going to be three years and a half they will be given out depending on overall placement in the rankings uh, for placing in the top 10% and 20% etc. Hopefully there are crown crystals there, hopefully. Please be aware that we will be establishing minimum requirements for receiving these percentage based ranking rewards. Hopefully there are some crown crystals. <laughs> <laughs> because that's all we care about, that's what we need in the game, more chrono crystals. Anyways, in closing, much like the Legends Management Team Newsletter Volume 3 in July, this has been a lot of information, but thank you very much for reading all the way to the end. You are welcome. In addition to the features we discussed here, we have plenty of other improvements on the way and expect to share more in the video and stuff planned for late October. Oh, there are there is actually a video and stuff for late October. That is pretty nice. We believe we have some exciting news to share with you regarding Zinkai Awakening in particular. Okay, not bad, not bad. As always, please keep in mind that the information we have shared with you is subject to change. Of course, every game has that. Further information will be shared as and when it becomes available through future editions of video and stuff and messages from the management team, so please stay tuned. It's really nice to see that they are actually going to give us a video and stuff for October. I thought that uh, the video and stuff for October is just completely... Uh, uh, actually ignored because they didn't give us it for the legendary finished character so we will see what they have for it as we approach the end of the year the management and development teams are always working hard to provide you with the best possible legends experience we hope you continue to enjoy dragon ball legends dragon ball legends management team where you i actually read even that <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, there are some nice changes that they are going to do. I am not very hopeful that this is going to do anything actually to the PvP, but I hope that they are going to do. I really hope that I am wrong and these changes are going to change the game to the better, of course, not the, to the worse, because some of these, like the leader slot, makes it actually look like it is going to change to the worse, because... Just the idea of being able to use the Zinkai Awakened Legendary Finish Gohan at any team you want is just insane. To be honest, it's just insane. So yeah, basically, <laughs> I really hope that these changes are going to change PvP to the better, not to the worse. And hopefully the game uh, overall becomes much better and better and more free to play friendly because we are approaching our fourth anniversary and we are still not not in a good position when it comes to free to play friendly uh, although at the beginning of the game they were the best game when it comes to free to play friendly but now they are actually not even close to that not even close to that so anyways i hope that you enjoyed this video it was pretty pretty long because of the fact that they had so many information actually but if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about dragon ball legends and with that being said see you as always in the next video of dragon ball legends